Hello everyone, this is Chase Crispin, and today we are here with a getting started video on the Orion TI-84 Plus Talking Graphing Calculator from the American Printing House for the Blind, Orbit Research, and Texas Instruments. Today we're going to be showing you how to turn the calculator on, perform some basic functions, and access the help mode to discover what each key on the device does. The Orion TI-84 Plus does work exactly as the TI-84 Plus itself would without the Orion Edition. This means that all teachers that are familiar with the TI-84 Plus can instruct visually impaired students in the use of the Orion TI-84 Plus. As a student myself, it has been very useful to have this access and be able to ask any math teacher how to do a certain task on a calculator without needing special instruction on a specialty device. I have the Orion TI-84 Plus talking graphing calculator sitting here in front of me, and we're first going to begin by looking at some of the most important keys on the unit. This tutorial will not give you a complete introduction to every port, every button on the unit but this will give you enough information to get started using the device. To get the device in its proper operating position, you should place it on a surface face up, and the standard calculator buttons, where there are several rows of buttons, should be closest to you. If you feel further back, you will feel a flat area where the device has its LCD screen, and behind that, you will find six custom keys and to the right of that an arrow pad with the select key in the middle that make up the Orion portion of the device. These keys control things like reading through your previous calculations without moving the focus of the calculator's cursor, changing your options, repeating the last phrase spoken, etc. So you will be using both the keys on the Orion unit and the keys on the calculator itself. The power button on the Orion TI-84 Plus is the furthest button on the bottom left edge of the calculator. If you feel below the screen, you will feel a row of buttons. Find the leftmost button and follow this column straight down. At the very bottom, you will find a kind of round-shaped key, and this is your power key. To turn the device on, you simply press this button. and you hear a tone indicating the device is turned on, and you also hear the words home screen, which tell you where you're currently at on the calculator. My volume of my calculator is pretty quiet right now, so let's figure out how to turn up the volume. If you feel for the six keys formatted kind of like a braille cell on the Orion unit, you can use the second button in the right column to turn up the volume. This is in the dot five position of the braille cell. If I press this, volume seven, volume eight, it's now quite a bit louder. On the calculator itself, there are many keys because this calculator has several functions. We will be looking at certain features and doing specific types of calculations in future tutorials, but today we're going to learn the most essential keys for performing basic calculations. The most useful way to find out what all of the keys, either on the Orion unit or the calculator itself, do is to press the second key three times, which allows you to enter a key describer mode. The second key is a very important key on your calculator because it allows you to activate secondary functions. This calculator is very advanced and is capable of doing more than the amount of buttons that it has. So almost every key on the device has a second function that performs something different than what just normally pressing the key would do. To activate this secondary function, you press the second key, and then you can press whatever key you wish again to access its second function. The second key is the second button from the top on the left. If you start by feeling for the screen, and you find the row of buttons below the screen, find the left button, move down one key, and you have found the second key. So this is the second button on the left from the top. If I press this key three times quickly, help on. Press this key three times again to exit help mode. Second on. We hear that we are in help mode, and we could press second three times again to exit the help mode. Now I can press any key on the calculator, 
to hear its function. So I'm just going to press the key that is to the right of the power key. Zero. That is the zero key to the right of that. Decimal point symbol. Is the decimal point to the right of that. Negative symbol. Is the negative symbol to enter a negative number. In the middle of the calculator towards the bottom is your standard keypad. So on the bottom row you heard we have zero, decimal, and negative. Above that you have one, two, and three. Above that, four, five, and six. Above that, seven, eight, and nine. This is set up like the numeric keypad on your computer or a standard calculator, but it is not set up like a phone would normally be set up. If I press any of the keys that are to the right of the numeric keypad, we will find out the functions of these keys. The topmost key in this row clear. is the clear key, and that will clear whatever calculation is on your screen and allow you to start over if you make a mistake. Below that, you have the keys that are used nearly constantly in math for the basic operations. Carrot. Enter value, press key, then enter exponential value. We have first, below the clear key, the caret key, which allows you to calculate a power of a number. For example, you could press 2, and then press the caret key, enter 3, and you would hear 16. Below this, you have... Division symbol with dots above and below dash. This is the division symbol. So to divide, below that you have multiplication, symbol, multiplication minus, symbol, minus plus symbol. and plus. So the row of keys to the right of the numeric keypad from top to bottom, starting in this just straight up and down row of buttons. There are more above this. There's an arrow key and things we're not going to worry about right now. This is just a continuous line of buttons. We have clear, the caret key to calculate powers, division, multiplication, subtraction, addition, and the bottom most button, which is opposite of the location of the power button, enter. is enter. And pressing this after you've entered a calculation will perform the equals function and display the answer. If you wanted to know what function keys have after you press the second key, you can press second. This is the second key from the top that we press to enter this mode. Two superscript ND. Activate second function mode. It tells us that that activates second function. Let's press the caret key again. Symbol pi. That is now, rather than being caret, the simple pi key that will let us use the value of pi in an expression. If we use second again, Do superscript ND. Activate second function mode. And now if we press the plus key, Lim. displays list of system settings. That will get us into system settings. If we press the second key and the key immediately below second the second key a -log. that is the a log, key followed by a -log locks in alpha mode. so you can either press each key to hear what it is and hear a description of that key or use the second key followed by any other key to hear what the secondary function is to exit the help mode or the key describer mode that we are currently in you can simply press the second key three times again like we did to enter this mode. Or you could press the power button that we used to turn the unit on, which would also exit the key describer mode. I'm going to press second three times. Help, off. help is now off, and we are back to where we were before we entered the help mode. I'm now going to do a couple basic calculations so we can just get the feel of how this is done. So I'm going to press two, two. two. and then I'll do plus since this is the button immediately above the equals key, which is the bottom rightmost button on the calculator. So I'll just do 2 plus, plus let's do 9. nine. Press enter. 11. That is 11. If you wanted to clear this and not have this expression show up, you could press clear. This would get rid of it. Or you could simply enter a new expression and it would be entered below this so that you could scroll up with the arrow keys on the calculator or the Orion unit and review your previous calculations. So it does not hurt to just enter a new expression. These just become part of your calculation history. So if I now press five, five. Times, times, which is to the right of the numeric keypad, it's the fourth button down that we looked at earlier, and I'll press four. four. Press enter. 20. Let's do one more. Let's do eight to the seventh power. So we'll do eight. eight. We'll press the caret key, which is the one below the clear key that we found within Key Describer. Power. And we'll press 7. 7. We'll press enter. 2,097,152. 
and we hear that this is something 2 million something, a large number. We now could look at any of our previous calculations. You can feel for arrow keys on the right hand side of the calculator itself, but this will move you from where you are now to that previous location. If you wanted to explore previous calculations without actually moving your cursor, losing where you're at, you can use the arrow keys on the right hand side of the Orion unit above the calculator screen. So if I press up arrow, that is the most recent calculation. If I up arrow, that is what we entered to get the answer it just read. If we up arrow again, there's 20. If we up arrow again, that is what we entered to get 20. So this is just scrolling us through everything we've typed on the calculator. And if you aren't sure what it's saying or you want to review number by number, you can just use the left and the right arrow keys. And in this case, it beeped at me because we're at the end of this calculation. But if we went left, right. four times five. there's five times four. This is very useful when you get a long number because you can arrow through it. Just press the arrows a couple of times to begin going through it. And then you are able to actually hear character by character what your calculation is, which is very useful when you're writing down an answer. To clear this history, you can just press clear. clear. Empty screen. And it says clear empty screen, so now there is no history remaining. And once you're done performing calculations for the day, you can press the second key, second on. followed by the bottom left key, which we use to turn the device on. The device briefly vibrates and plays another chime, and the device is now turned off. This does turn off both the calculator and the Orion portion of the device. We did not cover any advanced functions of the calculator in this video. If you would like more information, the Orion TI-84 Plus User's Guide, the guidebook for the TI-84 calculator, and more resources can be found under the Orion TI-84 Plus link at tech.aph.org. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and we hope you have found it helpful.